storm show. Hey, it's a storm show. Now, Malik, yo, but you've been out here tripping the last 35, 40 years. But here's the thing. The doctor got a script to get you and your whole mess of a life together. I'm sorry, your sham of a life. I'm sorry, your double, triple, quadruple life. Because you've been out here being undercover for the last 35, 40 years. And yes, it is a play on words. You was acting when you was in NYPD undercover. Except you probably wasn't even really acting. That was your life. Because you low down, dirty, and according to the girls in that community, the LGBTQIA+, you know, them African people that you are a part of, Negro, you are a dirty, cheap lay at that. You ain't you ain't even busting them down on money. You try, you throwing pennies on them. You making it drizzle. You can't even rain. You are, you, you a damn disgrace. Anyway, Maliki Yoba, a.k.a. Yogi Bear, a.k.a. Chronic Crusty Lips, a.k.a. I wanna lick, 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 lick you from your boost to your gooch, and I wanna go from the breast, down to, down to, to the nuts, and I'm gonna... Stroke you so good, you don't want to leave, but I got to nit, 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 no, oh, what's your pro, I, I see, all right, Maliki over. <laughs> I am diagnosing you with an addiction to underage badussy, chronic crusty lips, and being 65 years old, still telling stories, because here's the thing, Malik. Lili, I'm gonna call you Lili, you know, or Malika. All right, Lili, why would you wait until you had your AARP card to come out the closet? Why would you wait until your badussy had been busted so much that you are sharding on yourself in, in the pens before you want to now and come out and tell us about your lifestyle? No, nah, no, sir. The community left a voicemail at my office and said that you are using them for clout and trying to resurrect a very dead career and i agree ain't nobody really been thinking about you since you was in a tyler perry movie ain't nobody been looking at you and quite frankly a lot of these new school people don't even know who you are they just wondering why this man has been walking around with baking soda on his lips for the last 30 years talking about he got asthma so the first part of your script negro is that i am Prescribing you a lip biopsy. I need to take some of that crust off and send it out to lab co. I need to see what in the hell your mouth is infected with and why you've been walking around with this shady mouth your whole damn life and why you ain't really done nothing about it. Now you say you got eczema, but there's one thing about eczema people, cause I got eczema too. I got it on my arms and my back. You gotta stay moisturized. So why are you not moisturizing those lips? And what are you sucking and licking on that got those lips so damn dehydrated? Those lips are thirsty. They are as thirsty as Evelyn Forehead Lozada. They're just thirsty for some clout, some time, some attention, some, some moisturization. Hell, Negro, they thirsty for something. So we're going to get a biopsy of the lips sent off so I can finally figure out what you are infected with, allegedly. And then in addition to that, I am going to prescribe you a tub full of Crisco shortening, not the oil, the, the, the tub of the actual white lard. You know, the stuff that your grandmama and your mammy used to fry the best damn chicken in. They will put it in the cast iron skillet, fry that chicken that they had. Oh, that they had seasoned so well, black pepper, garlic powder, onion powder. They let it sit and marinate. They drop that chicken in it. Ooh, 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 ooh. Then they made you some cornbread on the side with the Mrs. Butterworth syrup poured on the cornbread because she also thick the homemade macaroni and cheese that really had four different cheeses in it and a crusty top. Not that nasty shit that Food Network has been putting out there without them veggies and the macaroni and cheese. Leave my shit alone, Food Network. Oh, Jesus. Woo! And then you got the fried chicken and the cornbread and the macaroni and cheese and then the greens that you put the hot sauce and the sugar. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting off point. Anyway, you know what Crisco is, so you are going to lube your lips up with that at night. I want you to lube them up every single time you get ready to suck some, some badus so you're not making badussies ashy and chapped out here in these streets. And then I want you to wrap them lips Oh, God, them ugly, disgusting lips. I want you to wrap them lips in some saran wrap before you go to sleep every night. And then when you wake up, you will have moisturized lips, okay? All right, the second part of your script is a badusing inspection. Now, here's the thing, Lee, you have been going around here saying that you straight. And the people in the community say that you're not. I have had some sources that say that 
You prefer the white and the Latina girls of the community. You know, the ladies of the night, the ladies of the street, the ladies of wherever the hell you can find them. But you know what boulevard and avenue to go right to? Nigga. All right. So we in the streets, pretty much, I mean, I personally don't care, but this is what the women want to know that's been lusting after you for years. They want to know if you are pitching, receiving, or if you are a flip, if you both. I believe you both, but they want to know. So we're going to inspect that Bedusi. I'm going to call in Nurse Tiffany. Now, Tiffany, I know you called in for the whole week talking about you ain't had no babysitter, but I'm going to need you to call Tyrone to come pick up this child so you can bring your ass into work. Because you got a Badusi to inspect. Now, if that Badusi is tight like a new rubber band that we just got from Family Dollars, then we know that you are just together. But if it is as loose as an old-ass ponytail holder, then we know how you get down. I personally just think you are a dirty trade, just like the girls in the community say. But you say different, and we going to inspect, and we going to see. Lee. All right. Next part of your script is that I am prescribing you a lie detector test, and it's just uh, going to really be a few simple questions. What's your name? Where you're from? What shows have you acted on? And do you or have you ever had any contact with underage trans women? And we're going to see what that lie detector test say. I think your lie detector test going to be just like this. <laughs> I think it's going to be off the rig to scale with lies because we know you lie, Lee, Lee. You know, you want to, lit, 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 lit. you know, that's that's what got your mouth in that problem it's in now. Anyway, we think you guilty because you had a whole R. Kelly moment when you was interviewing with the root when they went into your way, way past and you didn't want to discuss none of it. And you got up and you, I'm trying to love life. You know, you had one of those moments. Because you really are fighting for your life, your reputation, them lips fighting for moisture, and your badusi is fighting for air. But in addition to all of that, Lily, you got to understand something. Even if you come interview with me, you are not going to sit on my platform, call in, whatever, and I not ask the questions that we want to know. Now, you can always say no comment, but we can't talk about you without talking about Mariah Lopez Ebony, without talking about the slew of other women that came out. So it is what it is. Deal with it or go back under the rock that you came out of because we're nobody thinking about you before you try to jump on this gravy train. Call your kids and call your baby mama because she pissed as hell. She pissed as hell that her regular she pissed that her cookie box was not enough to satisfy you. You didn't want no regular cookie. You want a cookie with a little extra twang to it. So she going to be mad as hell. But it is what it is. Call your kids and apologize. Call your ex-wife and say you sorry for not talking to her first before you announced your transgressions to the world. And lastly, oh, speaking of apologize, yeah, that's the last part of your script. You're going to apologize. You're going to apologize to the LGBTQIA plus community because at the end of the day, you are using those people for clout. You got people that actually are attracted to trans people and actually are a part of that. That's that's just who they are in their DNA. And you are using that to try to come up instead of getting in acting classes and constantly Improving your skills. Hell, Denzel still take acting classes. Your punk ass definitely need to because you showing no Denzel. I don't even quite frankly see how you was a, a, a sex symbol. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't look at ninjas like that. But damn, dude, you, you, you not no Tay Diggs. You not no Morris Chestnut. You, you, you crusty lip Malik Yoba. But I guess back in the nineties, ladies like having their cookies chapped up. So I don't know. All in all, League League, I want you to present your tainer card and Medicaid card to the cashier on the left. Make sure you give them biopsies to Nurse Tiffany. Don't be running out when it's time to be inspected. And don't you worry, she will put on gloves and she will lube up plenty first. We know you like Astro Glide, all right? Don't act like you ain't used to it. And soon we will know who you really are, what you really into, and how you really get down. And you better hope that in five to ten years we don't see no surviving, completely, you know, done by lifetime, okay? Take your prescription. Get the hell out of my office. I don't want you infecting none of my other clients, all right? Now, before I go, I got to shout out my sponsors. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go and get him up off the screen. Be cool on him. 
I first got a shout out Smile Love. Smile Love provides an alternative solution to traditional braces. I'm, I'm really sweating in here. Use my discount code STORM550 to get $550 off your new set of aligners today. Shout out to Lotus Radiance. Their information will be down below. They make a mango extract body butter that will have your skin looking smooth and succulent. All right? Succulent. Did I just make up a word? I think I did. Shout out to Regina's Hair Salon in Houston, Texas. Regina got a 4.8 out of 5 star rating on Facebook. And in addition to that, Regina been doing hair for over 20, 30 years. And she would have you together. Lastly, we got to shout out Blessed Fragrances. What's going on, Bridget? Bridget been making body sprays, roll-ons, perfumes, and colognes for over 20 years. Use my discount code STORM to get 15% off. Like, comment, subscribe, share if you care for more celebrity prescriptions and entertainment news. Y'all know how I get down over here. Everybody's up for a roast. Nobody is safe. We are equal opportunity. And it's all laughs, jokes, and some seriousness. But mostly laughs and jokes at the end of the day. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch y'all later. Uh, it's Storm Show. Ay, it's Storm Show.